Hello and welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video. Uh, for this one it is Warhawk, which as you can see it was by Proteus Developments and published by Firebird Software in 1986. Uh, this is a fairly simple and straightforward uh, game and therefore be a fairly simple and straightforward review largely because the game I plan to do after this is a lot more involved so I wanted something simple to sort of like ease me into it now as you can hear the uh, soundtrack is by Rob Hubbard it's a pretty decent Rob Hubbard uh, tune <coughs> It's not his best, but uh, it's still, I think, uh, pretty bloody good. Uh, the game itself is just your know, straightforward shoot 'em up. So let's get a game underway and uh, see what this is all about. So we launch from the mothership. Uh, the idea is that uh, each of these. Uh, bases you're flying over are asteroids and they uh, come under attack from various waves you just need to clear out the waves it's as simple as that now as you may have noticed you uh, don't lose a life when you are hit by anything you uh, lose energy now you do only get the one life you may also notice that uh, the collision detection is a little bit suspect. There are plenty of occasions where your shots seem to just go straight through the uh, enemy ships. The thing is, that never happens when it comes to the enemy ships hitting you. They, they always hit you very uh, well. And yet your damage certainly goes down. So your damage meter, uh, those uh, nine arrows in the... Uh, bottom right. We are approaching the end of this level. So we get one final wave where everything piles in to try and take you out. Once you've taken them out, that's level one done. Now your energy uh, gets reset at the end of each level, which is extremely welcome actually. Right, off we open level two. Now, I did have this game back in the day. Um, I actually used to play it a fair bit. Uh, despite the fact that I'm never really what you would call the, the, the biggest uh, shoot em up fan uh, to have ever walked the earth. But uh, you know, occasionally I did like the, uh, a quick blast on a, on a half decent shoot em up. And uh, I didn't mind playing this back in the day. Uh, it wasn't ridiculously uh, advanced and therefore really aimed at uh, hardcore shooters. Uh, like, well, quite a number of uh, shooting up games had become around this time. There's not much in the way of potting about with uh, power ups or anything like that last everything that comes towards you. Approach the end of level two. Again a huge wave which you destroy in no time. Those end waves do get a hell of a lot more difficult as you go through. So on the level three. Let's get the review underway then. Uh, graphically it's it's reasonable uh, it's not you know, there's, there's nothing here that's going to blow you away but uh, you know I've seen far worse um, audio uh, the Rob Hubbard tune I think is, is decent it's, I say, it's not one of his best but uh, it's you know it's certainly not a bad tune and the gameplay is pretty straightforward Although it's not helped by some very uh, questionable uh, collision detection. 
Unfortunately, it does also suffer from the sort of things that affected a lot of uh, Commodore 64 games when it had like music and sound effects. Because when the sound effects are playing, um, you have well, most of the music is then just completely drowned out because it's using all three channels. So here we go trying to uh, make our way through the final wave. I'm surprised I actually got through that. I oh, want the level four. So, I mean, if you... Oh, bollocks, that was a power-up. The one and only sort of power-up you get in this game. Which uh, gives you a, a rapid auto-fire. The game doesn't auto-fire. You're having, I'm having to constantly hammer away at the fire button. Which is starting to kill my arm. Oh, bollocks, that was another one I want, no, sort of like, it's a bit like a mine. Uh, and there it is again. And there's not a vast sort of amount of variation as far as the uh, waves, but... Uh, they just basically get faster and... Uh, oh, here we go, right, so I've picked up the uh, power-up. As you can see, the... Uh, fires a lot quicker and you can just hold down your finger on the fire mark. Trouble is it only lasts for a short time. No my luck it will run out before that does. There we go. So I I can't believe I've done this but here we are on wave five. Alright so I still have some of my uh, power up left. And then accidentally shot the uh, refill for it. That was handy. Managed to pick up another one just as uh, the one I had ran out. So, what do I score it? Um, I say it's not a bad game, it's, it's a little bit simplistic and it does get pretty challenging despite starting off innocuously enough. I'll score it 7 out of 10. Uh, let's see, oh fuck it. Oh, I'll grab that one instead. I hope you're not a huge fan of the Mob Hunter soundtrack because I've drowned it out for most of this video, or most of this part anyway. So I have hardly any energy left as we approach the end of this wave. Surely this one will kill me off. I can't believe I got through that. So we're on the wave 6. Which I was not expecting at all. As you can see, these uh, ships are now moving a lot faster. And uh, so is mine. Oh, bollocks, the power up right now. Um, well, I can't see me getting through this level because I've barely scraped through uh, five, so level six is a big no no. Well, that helps. Like I had it for most of uh, the previous level and uh, only just got through it. These ships here are the ones who are the real pain in the arse, as, they, as you've seen follow you across once they are in line with you. Fucking hell, I'm at the end of level 6 and I've done better than uh, the previous uh, levels. There we go again. Well, I, it was supposed to be a quick video, so here I am now at the fucking level 7. Right. <coughs> I'm fucking eternally grateful for this uh, auto-fire, uh, oh fuck it, <laughs> uh, auto-fire power-up that I had and have now lost. I don't see me 
doing well on this level at all. Everything's absolutely flying towards me like fuck knows what and it does now but I am crashing into just about everything I encounter. Uh, and there we go. Alright, so it's game over, you do only get the one life. Perhaps unsurprisingly. So there you go, that is uh, Warhawk then, uh, from Firebird, it's not a bad little shoot em up, uh, so yeah, 7 out of 10 for that one, that brings this review to an end, and we will see you at the next one.